Hey YouTube, this is Eminem Hero again with my Raymond Dills deck that I improved over the days. This, I'm gonna get this video over with as fast as I can. This is E Hero Divine Neos. He can take the effect of any hero or Neos monster. So technically, I have four Raymond Dills in here. It's the fourth one, it's the third one dies, or I can just like summon this guy and then remove Raymond Neos from play, being that he's a Neos monster, and then Divine Neos gets his effect for one turn. Plus, he gets a permanent 500 boost. Alright, I used three Raymond Neos in this deck. That's because I had Chain Materials and Fusion Gate in here. What I do is throw out, I use Chain Materials and Fusion Gate, and I spam out three of these guys. That way, he has, Raymond Neos has three effects. He can return all your backfield to your deck, all your monsters to your deck, or all your uh, cards in your opponent's graveyard to the deck. But he only affects the opponent by returning their stuff to the deck. All of it. So with summoning three of them, I can return your backfield monsters and your graveyard to your deck. So that way you only have your hand to work with. So it's like you're being heavy slumped. But you have a 4,500 monster, three of them by the way, that's doing this to you. And being, Chain Material destroys them all at the end of the turn. So that's why I run Book of Eclipse. So I can keep them all face down. And being that they're all face down, they can't be identified. So that they won't be destroyed. The same reason why you can use Book of Moon on a monster from Return from a Different Dimension. And it doesn't get removed from play again. Alright, I got three E Hero Absolute Zeros. With the whole Chain Material Fusion Gate idea, I can spam any fusion I want in any combination I want as long as it doesn't exceed five monsters. So if you have a lot of monsters on the field, I can just spam this guy, then fuse him again and summon something else to bomb all your monsters, then book an Eclipse, put them all face down, and keep them alive. So the whole Chain Materials and Fusion Gate idea, Fusion Gate alone allows E allow is allows E Heroes to swap out between any fusion they want at any given time as long as it's during the main phase. So I can go like, I can have Divine Neos and Raymond Neos on the field, then all of a sudden, okay, I decide Shining. Okay, get rid of them. It's just that simple. I don't have to, if Fusion Gate dis, 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 disables the use of Polymerization. So now you got a constant Fuser on the field. E-Hero Great Tornado. I got three of them in here. He has the attack and defense of all face-up monsters your opponent controls during, on a turn he is summoned. So he's a good way to get, like, strong monsters weaker. So basically, he's a black wing Gale, but on a larger scale and, and and better in many ways because he's one he's stronger, comes out faster, and he's not limited. All right, this Elemental Hero Gaia, his effect is just like Great Tornadoes, except for it only affects one monster, and Gaia gains half that attack for one turn. So basically, it's, it's, he attacks a monster in attack mode, that and, and that monster being affected by Gaia's effect, you're going to take 2200. It's like using Ryoku. Alright, I got a friend of mine trying to get me the English ones of these, finally. Thank, I thank you, Asian Knight. I got two Elemental Hero of the Shinings. He gain, he defeats any E-Hero and a Light Monster. He gains 300 attack for every move from play E-Hero I control. And when he's sent to the graveyard, I can add two e move from play E-Heroes to my hand. What I do with this deck, Fusion Gate and this guy are like family. They You can constantly make this guy over and over with Fusion Gate, being that you have uh, Shinings to spare. In the right situations, under the right circumstances, you can actually infinitely make this guy by using Shining to return another roof and play copy of himself, and vice versa. Just keep doing the process over and over again. But um, with Elemental Hero Flash, when he's destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can roof and play him and three other different Elemental Heroes from your graveyard from play to add one of the guard from your graveyard to your hand. When he comes out, all you have to do is remove the play, to, remove from play the shiny that was in your graveyard, along with two with other ones. And then add a spell card to your hand, and then with him you can actually instantly make shining because all you all you would do is use the shining you just summoned to return the move from play shining you move from flash with flash to your back your extra back and then make the process over over again. Uh, Elemental Hero Stratos. This is to search out Neos or Neos Alias to get that easy Gemini Spark or Raymond Neos Fusion. Or basically like fusing any of the Omni Heroes, meaning he can search any one of them. Alright, Grand Mode is to get rid of the monster problems. Gors is in here for the backup plan just in case my field gets wiped out because, um, like, if just in case my monsters do die with Chamber Materials and I don't have Book of Eclipse, if I do happen to have a Gors in my hand and Fusion Gate got, got rid of, uh, got destroyed, that can actually Gors him for an easy backup. Also, he's a good, he's a eradicator epidemic virus in this deck. What um what I'm doing with this deck is while Raymond Neos puts everything back in your deck and you have your hand to work with, 
I'm going to use Eradicator Virus on you to get rid of all your spells and all your spells or traps from your hand. And whatever you draw for the next three turns. So that way you can't come back at me with like a Vortex or Dark Hole or something like that. So at, while crippling your field, I'm also going to cripple your hand. So I'm leaving you useless with very, very minimal options here. Alright, Honest, this whole deck is pretty much almost light based. March my line just to get rid of that extra 1,000 they have left and to keep monster on the field. Melfic Rainbow Dragon is actually in here for he he helps with many things. He's an eradicator virus uh, eradicator virus target. He can be a a, a good 4,000 beat stick off the bat just in case I need him to attack into something. And being that he prevents my other monsters from attacking, I can just use Raymond Dios to send him to the graveyard when I don't need him no more, so I can make all my monsters attack again. Also, what confuses me is that in the OCG. Rainbow Neos is the fusion. Uh, um, Rainbow Neos is the fusion of any Rainbow Dragon monster in Elm Hero Neos. While in the TCG, Ray, Rainbow Neos is only the fusion of Rainbow Dragon and Rainbow Dark Dragon. That mistranslation right there is why you can't use Prisma to send Rainbow Dragon or Rainbow Dark Dragon or this guy to the graveyard. It's because there's a mistranslation in what he's a fusion of from OCG to TCG. So in OCG, Rainbow Neos actually can fuse with any of the Rainbow Dragon monsters compared to down here where it's only two. One morphing jar for the extra hand control and discarding and draw. In this deck, I don't care what I lose from my hand because they're all going to get fused no matter where they're at. I got two E Hero Prismas. This is for deck tending and to get Neos to the rear faster, as well as becoming Neos himself to make Rim Neos. Two E Hero Voltix. This is the special summon anything removed from play that might uh, be useful at that given time. Three E Hero Neosis. That's a no brainer. He's in here because Rim Neos is him. Three Neos Aliases. They're Gemini Spark targets, and if he gets second summon, he can become Neos, so he can be another Rainbow Neos target. Three Rainbow Dragons, Rainbow Neos targets, from also Mel for Rainbow Dragon targets. Card Destruction, good draw, hand control, same thing as Morphing Jar. Two Book of Eclipses, this is to put all my mom this is to get cha to prevent chain materials from killing all my monsters, as well as being defensive and using Morphing Jar twice. The uh, DDR, the same. This is the same reason why Voltic is in there. DDR can also like I can also just get back Grandma because he's a. F I have to use him for the fusion divinios and just return one of your monsters to your hand and then swing for game. So DDR is actually very useful. Three Gemini Sparks, Monster Killers, Draw Power. Three Fusion Gates, Fusion Purposes, no to deal. Combine with Chain Materials for Infinite Fusion. Three Terraformings. Deck thinning search. If, the, if I had no use for it, I can just set it and send it with Rainbow Neos. Return for different dimensions. Same reason why DDR is in Voltec right here. Just for that extra last ditch effort. Uh, Gravity Bind is good for stall. If I don't need it no more, Rainbow Neos can send it. Eradicator. Once Rainbow Neos cleans your field up and your graveyard, this card can attack your hand for three turns. So you're pretty much not going to come back from it unless you have a monster like Battle Fader or whatever. Turn to Tribute. Given. Two Chain Materials. This card says, if I were to fuse with something at all during this turn, I can fuse from anywhere, from my hand, field, deck, or graveyard. But the monster, I cannot attack this turn, and the monsters are destroyed, which is why I book of Eclipse them. This is what makes the deck work. If I can get out three Ramoniosis in one turn, your field is clean, and then I'm going to eradicate you to knock out all your spells. Because you can set your traps, and Ramoniosis can just get rid of those. I'm just worried about your spells, something you can play off the bat. Alright, you two, that's been Eminent Hero with my Ramoniosis video. My last video will be about my new deck box that I made. I hope y'all like it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Alright guys.